first it was Yankee Stadium, and now the home of the Mets has been turned into a vaccination mega site. But some are finding opening day frustrating. CBS News John Diaz is at City Field in Queens with more. John. Yeah, good afternoon, Mary. In the last check, City Field is all booked up for now. Many people coming out here desperate for the vaccine, but they do not have an appointment. Um, a lot of people, you know, just pleading with security guards to get an appointment to get the vaccine, but we saw a lot of people turned away. Lines outside City Field on Wednesday filled with mixed emotions. For the lucky ones able to score a vaccine appointment, it's a home run. I feel very happy. But most waiting in line have no guarantee because... We don't have an uh, appointment. While some left feeling defeated, others hoping some cancel their appointments and they get to step up to the plate, like this Queens man who already had COVID, fearing he could get it again. I had it very bad and I thought that was my last day already. He and his wife both qualify, but finding it impossible to book an appointment. If I have to wait here all day, as long as I hope for the best and we both can get it. And this woman who has cancer hasn't been able to reserve a spot. I try th uh, through my primary doctor. I try uh, with my oncologist. Everybody said no vaccines. The 24-hour vaccine mega hub at City Field will operate Wednesdays to Saturdays. It's designated specifically for Queens residents who qualify, TLC drivers, and food service workers. On Friday, Yankee Stadium in the Bronx opened a similar site with enough supply in their first week for 15,000 doses. But a stark contrast at City Field: only 800 doses, roughly 200 a day, about eight an hour for a borough of more than two million. Mayor de Blasio, 800, not enough. Shame on them. All of them, all the politicians. That's ridiculous. Mayor de Blasio says the Yankee Stadium site is being handled by the state, while the city field site is being handled by the city with less supply. We expect to get uh, some more coming in, but the bottom line is we need to see equity. We lost 7,000 residents here. And the borough president going on to say that, you know, while this site is extremely important, the city and the state must also think about opening up additional sites across the borough uh, because a lot of people cannot easily access City Fields. From City Field, John Diaz, CBS 2 News.